All right, everyone. So the apps integration is finally here. There are two different ways that you're going to see yourself using this right now. And it's either going to be standalone using that for a couple automations, or you're using it to integrate with the recorded automation some too. So here is how you're going to do that. If we click add new automation, you're going to see the four options. Now we have the guided builder apps, which is the active piece integration, add from template and manual recording. So when we click apps, this is going to launch the builder for us. And then we can go ahead and create an automation in a specific workspace if we want or all together. So that is one way that we can start it. The other way is if we just want to load the apps builder, we can click on the profile icon and then click on open apps builder and that will automatically uh, open this up for us. So now one of the common flows that people are going to be after in the apps builder is they want to have some sort of trigger and then they want to run, do a couple steps or they want to start running a recorded automation. So I'm going to show you guys really quick how we set up the, trigger we can do whatever steps we want i won't go through that process that's the same as all these other step builders and then we're going to finish with an http step which is going to send the data to task magic to start running there's going to be a task magic action that just didn't quite make its way out of the testing yet there's still a couple things we're fixing there so this is going to be the current method so on the task magic side i already have an automation recorded which is nothing in particular it's just doing a couple random things but what matters here is the setup process so that active pieces portion, the apps builder can send the data to task magic to begin running. So if we click setup trigger and then webhook, this is going to give us a URL that we want to send all that data to. So I'm going to go ahead and click copy and then go back open, go back over to the apps builder. I'm going to click the plus icon and then search for HTTP. And this setup is going to be really fast for us. What we're going to do is select an action. I'm going to do send. You're going to do send as well every time. Method is going to be post. And then we're going to paste the URL that we had there. And this is going to be the same every time. Um, each automation is going to have a different URL. But it's always going to be HTTP request and post. Then the next thing we can do is set up our data. So if I want to have this Airtable data, this has, if I can pull it up, this has a name field in it. If I want to send that data to task magic so that it can begin an automation, there's just a couple more steps and then we're all good to go to uh, start building these integrations. So in this HTTP step in the body section, we are going to, this is a little bit more complicated than we ever want things to be. This is where the majority of the improvements are going to be in the next couple days and weeks is making this process to and from as easy and if not easier, uh, wherever we can. So for now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the curly brackets and that's going to open two of them for you and then click enter. So you should have one facing to the right and one facing to the left. And then in here, we need to define whatever variable we want. So for me, I have first name. It's important that you don't use spaces. You're probably going to want to use underscores or just type the, the name out like this. And then we're going to add a colon and then we can add brackets or the quotation marks again. And we can either add um, whatever word we want, like from here, from active pieces, from apps, whatever we want to say, or we can replace that with the data from another step. And to do that, I'll click here and then I'm going to select the data that I want. So I'm going to click here and then that is going to insert this data. So this is all we need to do to start sending data. If we want to send more rows, then all we're going to do is add a comma to the end of the quotation mark here and start the next one. So let's say we do last name. I can do something like this and then we would do quotation marks and we can either click something else. Like let's say I wanted to send the ID and or I can type something like hello and then it'll be next to the brackets, whatever we want to do here. But this is how this automation is going to play out. If I go ahead and click test step, we're going to see this data get sent to task magic so that we can begin using it on our side in the automation. Um, the same way you use Google sheet data and you have variables coming in there. We can make our own variables coming from these other sources and send them to task magic. So we're going to see status 200, which means that was good to go. There's also a success true at the bottom here, but this doesn't matter that much. We can ignore everything in here. 
what matters now is we go to the task magic side and we click the whoops that's the second one of the builders we click check for new events and we're going to see that new data was sent so we're going to see it looks like it didn't send over the id um which is fine i didn't really care about that and maybe i didn't enter something right there but it did send over kyle which is what we cared about and that was the data from google or from uh from the Airtable step so i'll go ahead and click save trigger and now if i go to a typing step you're going to see that i have those variables avail available to me and if I was to click play steps or if this was to run automatically, it's going to run with whatever data came in during this process. So that is how you send data to TaskMagic. The exact process is flipped if you want to use the TaskMagic action where you're given this URL and you're going to go through that setup process, the exact same setup process, but by clicking send to webhook inside TaskMagic, you add the, oops, I didn't copy it. You're going to add the apps URL right here, and then you can create your data here with anything that you scraped or any of your variables um, passing through. So hope that gets you guys excited about what's to come with this apps integration. This is the very, very, very early version that we've released so far of this integration and only have more to add to this. Um, so leave any questions, any comments, and looking forward to see what you guys can build with this apps and uh, recording automation being combined together.